Batman v Superman. You know I had to come back and talk about that. But how can I talk about this movie and yet not give any spoilers away and also be brief? Well, here's my best attempt. <clears throat> No, this is not the worst movie I've ever seen. Yes, there are people that really love this movie. I even really liked parts of this movie, but it's all so crammed in there, along with a shoehorn Justice League tie-in, that there's no breathing room. Nothing that's good in this film is given the proper time to develop. Batman and Superman are done really well at times in this movie, but when they f*** up, they really f*** them up. Ben Affleck really does a great job as Batman, I have to admit it. Unfortunately, there are certain aspects of this Batman that you may have heard about already. One particular character trait that may sway you about this character and this film. I actually would not mind this aspect of the character if it was fleshed out and explained and used as conflict between Batman and Superman. They don't do that. You're just supposed to accept this really radical departure from the traditional Batman. Then you have Henry Cavill, and he does a great job as Superman, but he too is given aspects of the character that really don't fit either for a fan or for a critic. There are things that he does which are not really in line with the Superman that we know. And there are things that he does that from a critical standpoint, I just don't buy. And by the way, it has nothing to do with anything that he did in Man of Steel. If you're worried that he's gonna do the kind of things that he does in Man of Steel, I would say you don't really have anything to worry about. Sorry, it's hard to do this without actually giving any spoilers away. Let's talk, however, about the one biggest misstep in the cast, and that is Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. We all knew it was a bad idea, and guess what? It is. He's ridiculous. He's hammy, he's annoying, and he's completely ineffectual as the main threat of this movie. The only reason why he poses any threat is because the plot makes it so. He does some things here which he should not, by any logical means, be able to do, yet he does them because the plot says so. I suppose people also want me to talk about Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Well, she is... Fine. She was fine for me. I'm not sure why everyone is so blown away by her. There's nothing wrong with her, but I don't get the sense in the little screen time that she has that she has to play Wonder Woman, that she's the right casting choice for this. For me, you could have cast anyone and she would have been able to do the same things just as well because there's not that much for her to do because again, everything's being crammed into this movie. I think the real judge of whether Gal Gadot will be good as Wonder Woman will be the Wonder Woman movie. But the biggest misstep of this movie is that it does not deliver on its selling point. The biggest reason why anyone wants to see this movie, the biggest reason anyone's excited for it, is to see Batman and Superman on the same screen and possibly fight. But Batman and Superman actually don't get that much screen time together. And there's no real clash of ideology. There's no real clash of Superman's tactics versus Batman's tactics, the way they do things. The kind of stuff that you would expect from a world's finest or a clash between Batman and Superman, you never really see that. And if you're for some reason hoping that this movie is going to be a two-hour slugfest between Batman and Superman, you're going to be really disappointed. I know that's a spoiler, but it's worth spoiling because you're probably going to be disappointed if you expect like big huge battles between them. There's really only one big fight and most people like it. I'm probably the only one who does it. Not because of the result. I hear you already saying that in the comments. Here you read you whatever. My problem is it's not a good fight. It's not a good setup either but it's not a good fight. If I get into a spoiled discussion, which I hope to do, I'll go over what really makes for a good fight. But for now, I hate to make the Marvel comparison, but watch Daredevil Season 2, the first couple of episodes, and you will see how you properly do a confrontation between two very different heroes, both in the physical aspect and in the verbal aspect. Batman v Superman does not deliver. Oh, and one thing that, as a fan, really killed this movie for me? Well, when I saw a trailer way back when, I saw something in the trailer that made me say, well, they can't do that, they're not gonna do that. Because if they bring this thing in, then they would have to do this thing. But they wouldn't do that in a movie called Batman v Superman, would they? Yes, they f***ing do. And when that happened, some people ate it up. I even heard, like, a, a teenager or a young kid tearing up at this moment. But for me, my reaction was more like, No! 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 That story 
belongs in its own movie. But thank you so much for ruining that possible storyline. Well guys, I'm really sorry to return on such a negative note here, and I'm sorry that this review is rushed, but I want to avoid the spoilers. My overall opinion on this movie? Not good. There's nothing wrong with you if you disagree, and as a matter of fact, if you disagree, I want to know about it. Write the comments whether you agree or you disagree. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I fanboying? Am I just a Marvel fanboy? Well, I'll answer that question. No, I'm not. If anything, I'm a DC fanboy, and that's why I'm so pissed off. In fact, I'm so pissed off that I almost put this thing back on to slay this movie properly.